Good morning. It's Jay Sizzle. I'm back with another one today, man. I'm about to show y'all how to track optical flares in After Effects without a 3D camera tracker. You know I me? Mean? Let's get it. All right, so let me just duplicate my piece, my footage real quick. Let me, you know, huh. So I already know that my track isn't gonna be perfect because my light goes out of frame, but I wanna use, I'm gonna use this red light over here and I'm gonna make this like a little, a, a flare, like, you know? So what I'm gonna do is this on the clip, I'm gonna add mocha, right? And we take the x spline tool and we just make a little mask around this light. I'm gonna track forward. As I said before, it might, it's gonna get out of frame, so don't worry. See, maybe I could go for one more frame. You feel me? So now I got a track. I'm gonna X this out. And now here's where the fun happens at. So let me get a no. And then what I do is I come down to my mocha settings, camera track, I mean camera, um, camera track data. And I choose transform. And then I pick the no and boom the no is in the spot where I want my flare to be. So now I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna add a solid. And on that solid, I'm gonna put optical flares. I'm gonna go over here, change this to transparent. You could just come into the layer and click effect and go to optical flares and da 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 da. But I'm gonna show you how the fast way, you feel me? If you close your damn layer, right? And then you just come up into your effect controls, you just double click, boom. It takes you right there. You know I me? Mean? So now all you gotta do is press P on your know. You take the position X, Y from the optical flares effect and you put it on the position of your know. And now look, you gotta track the optical flares. Now this is how I color match. I usually just take the ink drop tool and I put it on the lightest section of the scene. You feel what I'm saying? So we could always match the shot. And then I will come in here and when I come into the options, only thing I really do, I come here, I change my texture to like dirt, to dirty. You feel what I'm saying? And then I, you know, I probably get like a different type of preset going on. If not, if not a different preset, uh, I'm sorry. If not adding dirt, uh, I'm putting on a different preset and then just keeping the colors that I originally set. So for instance, this could be like, uh, no, nah, this is too much. I got mad flares, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. It'd be hard for me to pick some time. So I usually just go with like the natural light settings and I go get this one. This is one of my favorite ones, the crazy light and the evening sun. This is my right here. I like these, feel me? I throw them on and now boom. And then here's some settings. You could come into the flicker, change it to sharp, boost the speed to like 50 to 100, depending on your music video um, tempo. But me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a lot. And I'm gonna transition this out. Usually you could flash into another scene, right? Um, you can do that. I just would recommend having another piece of footage there. So I'm gonna just do this, right? Let me just add up just real quick, just to show y'all monochrome, just to make this like black and white or some shit. I don't know, let's do that. I'm gonna just show y'all real quick that you can take the scale and the brightness of your light, right? And use it as something to transition with. So brightness and scale, press you on your keyboard, bring it back to like, you know, there, and then just bump that scale up or the brightness, one of the two. And then just imagine if there was like another piece of footage here, right? Let me just get a random video just to show y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not really scared. But we bring that down, we keyframe that John. Feel me? Let's go over here. Bring this in, bring this in. Bring this in. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all could do this with almost any light source for real, bro. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But just imagine, you, you, you gotta have other stuff going on on your other clip for that transition to look good. You feel what I'm saying? But that's the gist of this tutorial. That's all I really had to show y'all today. You feel what I'm saying? If you enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with more. You feel what I'm saying? And also, if you want to, you can go check out the website. I got a whole bunch of presets, 3D assets up there, anything, any, any and everything ready to use, drag and drop. Yeah. So much love. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. I got to get back to work. Peace out.